Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. This time, I'm going to show you how to get the trophy Midgar Full of Flowers. In order to get this trophy, you need to construct all three flower wagons for Aerith. One of them is done automatically just by playing through the game, it's part of the story. But there are two additional ones that you need to find the parts for, and assemble them for Aerith, and take her on a date selling flowers. For one of the carts, all you have to do is be the champion squatter in the squatting minigame in Shinra HQ on the soldier floor. You just got to beat every opponent, and then you'll get all four parts. It's pretty easy. For the other one, you have to complete various side missions and side quests in order to get each part. So, for this video, if you're looking for a strategy on how to beat the squats minigame, that's what I'll cover first because it's the quickest, and then I'll cover all the parts for the other flower wagon. So without further ado, let's get started. For the Shinra Lunch Cart Flower Wagon, anytime between chapters five and seven, so five, six, or seven, you want to go to the training room on the soldier floor of Shinra HQ, speak with the scientist, and then he will allow you to challenge various members of the army to squatting. So there are a total of four opponents. It's the same exact strategy for all four. You just want to press triangle, and then as soon as your controller vibrates, press triangle again. Eventually, it will get faster and faster and faster. Basically, every five that you do up until 20 in a row, it'll keep getting faster and faster. So just keep your hands on your controller, wait for it to vibrate, and press triangle. During the little cutscene when Zack is getting pumped, he will automatically do an extra squat. So you press triangle, and then during that cutscene, he's gonna automatically do another one. So what I recommend doing is as soon as that camera turns, stop pressing triangle, because you don't want to mess up your timing, and then just wait for your controller to vibrate. It's almost easier to just not pay attention to what's going on on the screen, and just wait for your controller to vibrate, and not even look at the screen. In any event, you need to defeat all four opponents. The first one will give you the lunch cart specs. The second one will give you the Shinra ceramic. Third will give you the Shinra Treads, and then the final opponent will give you the Shinra Solder, and you need to get around 60 squats, 55, 60 squats, in order to beat that last guy, so you gotta be pretty good. But you get all four parts from the same exact challenge, so it's easy enough to put that cart together. The other flower wagon you can construct is the Carpenter's Wagon. Starting in Chapter 3, you will find this soldier infantryman patrolling the streets of Loveless Avenue. You want to speak with him, and then that will unlock mission 1-2-1. You then want to complete them all in this category, all the way through M126. After finishing M126, you will get a message to visit the captain again. And then once you do that and speak with him, he'll have a whole bunch of guff to say. But at the end of the day, he will reward you with the Craftsman's Monthly, which is the plan to put the wagon together. So now we just got to get the parts. First up are the premium tires. These can be obtained starting in chapter three. You wanna go into the briefing room on the soldier floor of Shinra HQ, speak to this recruit, you see him get scolded, and then he's gonna ask you to go on some missions with him. So you wanna complete all the missions in his folder all the way through M716. After you do that, speak to the soldier one more time, and then you will see a pretty nice cutscene, and then at the end, you will get the premium tires. Next up is walnut wood. This can be obtained starting in Chapter 5. You want to go to Loveless Avenue, speak to this soldier second class here, and then he will send you on a mission to catch a Wu-Tai spy. There are six spies in total. I will not cover the location of each of them here. Instead, you can check the description for a link to the guide that I've made on this mission. It'll take you a little while to do. It's not that difficult. It's kind of a fun puzzle-solving activity. You do not have to do any of the missions associated with the spies. You just have to do the quest in the world. You do not have to do any of the side missions associated with them. But after you catch the sixth and final spy, you will get walnut wood automatically as a reward. The final piece of this wagon is the mithril tool. Starting in chapter five, you can go to the upper section of sector eight's fountain area and speak with this gentleman. He will open up a mission for you, M-2-1, and you want to complete all of the missions in that folder, but after you do so, you will notice that M2-1-6 does not unlock automatically. That is because a new NPC spawns in a really weird location. It makes sense for the story, but it's just odd that he appears here. In the exhibit hall, a scientist will appear looking at the map of Gaia, 
and you want to speak with him, and then he'll make some weird remarks, and then that will unlock mission 216. You want to complete that mission, go back and speak to the scientist, and then you will get the mithril tool as a reward. So for this one, you do have to do all the missions associated with it, unlike the Wutai spies. But that's it. That's how to get all the parts for both of the additional flower wagons. Visit Aerith, speak to her, and she will automatically have you put them together. There's no mini game for putting it together. It's just an automatic cutscene. Put both of them together, and you'll get the Midgar Full of Flowers trophy at the end of the second date. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.